Why should resources be used sustainably? A resource is something that can be used for a purpose. For example, mineral resources are used for making a variety of things for our everyday use. Resources can be classified based on their origin as biotic resources like plants, animals and humans or abiotic resources such as minerals, oil, land, etc. They can also be classified based on their exhaustibility, whether they are non-renewable resources like fossil fuels or renewable resources like solar power. Resources may be owned by an individual, a community, a country or an international institution. Resources may be available in nature, but they become valuable only when they are utilized. Therefore, resources are also classified based on their status of development. Some resources have a potential for development, resources that are already in use and resources whose stock is available. However, we do not have the technology available to use them. When using a resource, we need to know the category it belongs to and plan to use it accordingly. For example, fossil fuels are exhaustible and non-renewable. If we do not use them judiciously, we may soon run out of them. Therefore, in 1968, the Club of Rome first put forth the idea of resource conservation. And then, in 1987, the Brundtland Commission report introduced the concept of sustainable development, which means economic growth without harming the environment and compromising the requirements of future generations. The Earth Summit of Rio de Janeiro in 1992 provided an action plan for sustainable development known as Agenda 21. It is an action plan to combat environmental damage, poverty and disease through a combination of global cooperation and local resource planning. For example, Jharkhand is rich in coal and mineral resources. So how do we plan to extract and use them? Where to mine them? how to build a transport network to reach the finished goods to the market. All these considerations come under resource planning. Note that for all this, we need to consider the available land. Almost half of the available land in India is used to cultivate a wide variety of crops. Therefore, fertile soil is also an important natural resource for us in addition to coal mines. Then how do we choose between them? With the rise in population, there is an increased need for new houses, new industries and increased food production. Therefore, sustainable resource planning must make balanced use of the available land to provide all these without damaging the forest cover or the fertile soil. Remember, our future depends on what we do today. So we must use the resources sustainably and judiciously in the present because it is our responsibility to hand over a healthy and happy future to the coming generations.